right, brethren, now on to part three of the study of exposing pagan church buildings. This part is about synagogues. Now, what is a synagogue by definition? Webster's 1828, a congregation or assembly of Jews met for the purpose of worship or the performance of religious rites, the house appropriated to the religious worship of the Jews, the court of the 70 elders among the Jews called the Great Synagogue. Now, people may claim that those buildings were just a place for the Jews. Mostly, yes, I agree. But also note that not in one occurrence of the word synagogue does it ever refer to New Testament believers gathering for fellowship. You see, because many times people who are for going to a church building, you know, going to church, as is the modern explanation, they will say, well, the apostles or the New Testament church, Christians, they went to the synagogues for the Jews, for a service, a church service even. They will use these passages where the word synagogue occurs to prove what they believe to be valid reasons why we should go to the church building. But that's ludicrous. So let's see the truth displayed from the word synagogue. What I'm about to show you are three different categories of truth found in the word synagogue in the following passages. Look these up on your own time. I won't take time to go through all of these because there are many of them. First, Jesus, the apostles, and disciples taught in synagogues. However, notice, not one time does it ever show that they went to worship or fellowship with them. Also, at times, they healed the sick. Primarily, it was to preach the truth. See all of these passages and look them up. Don't believe me. Believe what saith the scripture. You can't use these passages to prove that we ought to go to a church building for services because that was not the reason they went. The next category is the warning to be aware and beware of the Pharisees' hypocrites in the synagogues. Not only the Pharisees, but also other hypocrites in the synagogues. See these passages given. Now on this point, especially, I could go on for a long time on the hypocrisy in the synagogues and relate it to today's church building hypocrisies. Watch my video on why I no longer go to church services. That will explain it right there because I firmly believe the same hypocrisies and many others were going on in the synagogues, especially among the Pharisees. This last category is the reality of persecution in and from these synagogues. See these passages. At least 95% of the persecution I've received for the truth I stand for from the King James Bible are from religious fanatics in these church buildings. Once they find out what you really believe, the gossip, rumors, backbiting, especially backstabbing, and persecution begins. These people have no sincere desire to have a godly discussion with you, Acts 15, about your beliefs. They'll stand with their church building denomination, right or wrong. Get out of the synagogue, modern apostate church buildings. They're not according to scripture. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So brethren, love the Lord Jesus Christ, fear God and keep his commandments and read and believe the King James Bible. Thanks.